Hello crafties, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I am doing another acrylic pour. This time it's another suggestion off of Twitter and this Twitter user said red, gold, and purple. Hmm, they think these colors should be amazing. Well, I think I'm going to have to agree with you Neil too. So, what I will be doing is covering up this old painting that I started and just didn't like, you know, reusing canvas. So, without further ado, I'm going to get started. I got my life together a little bit, and now I'm just going to start stirring up my paint colors. This time I am actually continuing to use the Floetrol in my paints. I really enjoyed the live video that I did with it on Instagram and I I just will never go back also I see that I have another excuse to go to the art store because I just used all of my red which isn't a bad thing it was an older tube so it's really a good thing that I ran out but this just gives me a chance to run to Blake's again there's this really awesome sushi place next to Blix that I enjoy. So, you know, doing it for the art. And I'm just quickly stirring, but thoroughly stirring, my pigment into my pouring medium. Now, in the gold, the gold is a matte paint, and I did pour some gloss medium in there because I wanted to sparkle, and I also just wanted to see what it would do. I also need a little more gold because this gold is a little pale for my liking. Just just a wee bit. Just gonna go ahead and drop drop and stir that just a little more. And now I'm good. I guess it makes a good contrast against these richer colors that I'm about to use. And that last but not least, I'm gonna use purple. Very rich and elegant purple. You can see it kind of come together. And I think that I want a richer purple, so I'm going to grab my purple. And just add a little more. I didn't really put much paint into these cups at all. And that's the charm of the Floetrol for me. It's just, uh, can I say, it's wonderful. <laughs> so much wonderful. So much wonder. What? No. I'm gonna stop talking. Okay. That's a little better. If I wanted a super rich purple, I think I would probably just mix it with water as opposed to the Floetrol. Or I would actually add enough paint to the Floetrol. I don't know. I'm starting with the red. I'm just gonna... Cover it up like that. And then I'm going to go in with the pale gold that I created. Now this is the effect that I've been wanting all along when I've been doing these pours. Just having each paint push one another off the edge of the canvas. That's so hard to do. Let me add a little oil to one of these paints. Just a little bit. It's a drying oil. It'll be fine. If this is canvas. I'm also not worried about that. I'm going to stir it in a little bit. Because I want some cells for sure. And I guess I could have used some alcohol in these paints. But you know, spontaneity at its finest. I'm 
Okay. And now I have this little bullseye effect going on, so I'm going to start tilting this. some oil from somewhere or something um, in the paint is already giving it these small little pockets of cells like up here starting to come apart. Just gonna let that spread out. Gonna let this spread out. Just gonna grab this purple. And pop pop that back in. And just kinda Oh, you know what's a good idea, guys? Actually not having this canvas balanced out. And having it slowly drip down this way. That's perfect. I'm going to grab a skewer and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So now... I'm back. I don't have my skewer, but I do have a pointy stick, so that shall work. I'm going to use a little rubbing alcohol across this board because I want my colors to do something interesting for me. That is definitely interesting. It's just kind of swipe. I like the cells that are blooming up at the top. So I'm just going to like not try to terrorize those too much. And I still have paint, so I'm going to keep pouring over top of this just to see what happens. Kind of reminds me of a lava lamp, you know, guys. Purple. I think I poured more purple than any other of these colors, so. And it gives a nice little ambient contrast to these other colors. And so I'm kind of glad that it's not dark, dark purple. But I do wish it was of a deeper um, hue. Yeah, guys, I take these requests not just from Twitter, but also here. So if any of you guys want to comment here and give me some color ideas, that would be great. I really like these, and as you guys see, I am actually doing them. So, you know, your opinion matters. I like how that looks like either 
plant cells or lava lamp bubbles up at the top. I'm just kind of spreading these around. I think I'm out of red now. I actually get to pour some gold. Just a wee bit. And then what I'm going to do is take one of my sticks. I'm going to place my cup back under my canvas because that's enough downward shifting, I think, for this guy. If I can get to him fast enough, you know, without screwing him up. Beautiful. And there's all kinds of paint under this plastic, but I'm starting to feel like that's okay. So <laughs> I'm just going to drag it in just a little more. I think one day I will eventually do a pour over this table, do a bunch of resin, maybe over the summer when it's prospectively warmer, maybe it'll dry faster, who knows. So I'm not held up for too long. That'll also create the opportunity for some more outdoor pouring, which will be nice for the channel. I'm just kind of patting the sides, making sure that they're covered and finished looking. And it just depends on the pour that I'm doing. Um, sometimes I will pat it, sometimes I swipe it. But I say it depends because, like, these sides here um, are pretty uniform. And so I'm just patting them so they're blending in. In spots like this one, I'm going to want to either put a little more paint there. Go ahead and force some of that pigment off the edge. Or up here, I might just want to swipe around and actually fix my life, you know? So I'm just going to take that. Hopefully not knock it off of the balance space so that I have in place. little housekeeping things, you know? And I'm thinking perhaps I'll varnish this one. This one has potential, so I don't think I'll do much manipulating of the paint. Maybe a swipe here or something, a swipe there, but nothing too, too dramatic. I believe that is the end of this pour. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Neil, too, for your suggestion. I really like this color combo. And I think it's going to be re a really strong and rich piece when it dries. So I look forward to that and getting it all glossy and shiny for you. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below with some more suggestions. I'm always looking for them and always looking for an excuse to go to the art store. So just let me know. Go ahead, hit, her, hit the subscribe button uh, so you never miss out on future content. Go ahead and 
ring the notification bell. And until next time, guys, happy making.